Hi, I'm Jennifer Chu from ITR Physical Therapy, and I'm here with one of our speakers from Women's Health Wellness Day, which is a day-long event in DC at the District Architecture Center on Saturday, September 21st, called Women's Health Wellness Day. We really hope you make it. But I'd like to introduce Rosalie Zuniga, who is the owner of Postpartum Wellness. And Rosalie, can you tell us a little bit about your business and, and what sort of got you interested in the postpartum population in the first place? Yes, thank you, Jennifer, for having me here. I'm so excited to be part of Women's Health and Wellness Day this year. Postpartum Wellness is a holistic wellness center mm -hmm. for um, women from pregnancy through uh, mostly their entire first year postpartum. And we provide a whole host of services, including um, lactation support, massage mm -hmm. therapy, um, sleep experts, as well as counseling for um, anxiety or depression that can go, um, that can present itself during pregnancy and postpartum. And the idea is for it to be a one-stop shop for moms so that they don't have to coordinate all their fragmented services themselves because it can just be so overwhelming mm -hmm. when a woman is pregnant or even after bringing baby home to really just get all of their needs and services met. Yeah. Well, and it's also just the time, you know, where to me, when I had my children, it was just overwhelming taking care of, you know, now all of a sudden I'm in charge of this little human being and then trying to put on any self care for myself on top of that feels almost not doable. Mm -hmm. Yet it's a really important time for self care because if we're not taking care of ourselves and we're not going to be able to take care of our babies and our kids and our, you know, families as, as well. So, I just love that you have this sort of holistic model. Absolutely, I'm glad you brought up the um, the topic of self care because it's absolutely very important. I frequently tell women that it's so necessary to put on their oxygen mask first before being able to help others, whether it's their child or their partner or or anyone else. It's mm -hmm. it's so important to take care of ourselves first so that we can be present and healthy and happy and able to take care of others. Absolutely. So Rosalie and her colleague are part of our postpartum track. We have three different rooms. One room is for women and just sort of general wellness topics. Another room is more experiential like yoga, Pilates, um, mindfulness, and a whole day room on just postpartum. And Rosalie, can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be covering? And maybe what you'd like people to um, take away. Yes, absolutely. Um, so my colleague Elena Termomiello and I will be presenting um, at Women's Health and Wellness Day and we really want to focus on highlighting the realities of motherhood. Um, there are very unrealistic expectations. So true. Yes. <laughs> that are placed on mothers and it really is, it's just unfair. It's unfair for moms to feel like they have to have the perfect child in the arms of a perfect mother with all her maternal instincts intact. And so that's just a lot of pressure. And um, so um, I think that a lot of people are somewhat familiar with postpartum depression, but there is also a lot of anxiety that accompanies um, emotions during pregnancy and postpartum and the anxiety doesn't have to also include depression. So it could be very confusing for a woman if she's not sad or tearful to, to think that maybe this is, this is just something that all mothers go through and it's like a rite of passage that she has to mm -hmm. um, walk through when, when it's not. Yeah. So what we wanna do um, on September 21st is really talk about all the changes that occur with women including changes to um, their relationship mm -hmm. with their partners, their friends, their extended family members, all the transitions that occur, whether a woman is going back to work or has decided to stay at home, as well as the emotional changes. Um, yes, there is a, there's an umbrella called um, perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, which really what falls underneath that is depression and anxiety during pregnancy and um, after delivery, as well as obsessive compulsive disorder, mm -hmm. post-traumatic stress disorder, and psychosis. And unfortunately, what the media and news stories highlight for, for us 
is the postpartum psychosis part. And so that's what most people think of when they, when they picture a, wo a woman that is experiencing postpartum depression. And that's so inaccurate. It's just, mm. it's not true. And so when a woman doesn't meet those characteristics, then she's, she doesn't know what's happening. Yeah. And so she probably suffers alone because she feels yes. like she's, uh, I'm not, I'm not there. I'm not in major, major depression, so I don't need help. And then, you know, we just Absolutely. don't talk about it. And then we're oftentimes embarrassed. Yes. Right? That I think I'm the only one. I was, I had a lot of anxiety after, um, particularly my second I, and I wasn't physically well either. So, but I didn't even think to reach mm -hmm. out because I wasn't depressed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, like you said, there's a, there's a huge component, component of being embarrassed and guilty. And then um, women are afraid to say anything because they don't want their children to be taken away or they don't want to be labeled as a bad mother. And so there really needs to be um, more accurate education yeah. put out there. And I think right now is the time because celebrities like um, Brooke Shields and um, Serena Williams, um, Chrissy Teigen, they're using their platforms. Which is wonderful. Yes, to really highlight the realities of motherhood. And like with those women who have such a, like a public um, presence and also the resources to take care of themselves are, are being honest about like the struggles that they're, they're experiencing. So I'm glad that they're using their celebrity status to really draw attention to, to what's going on with moms. And so I really am eager to talk to the women um, that come to Women's Health and Wellness Day on September 21st. Uh, we're going to be providing um, free consultations to women and hopefully hooking them up to services throughout this area. That's so great. Well, I can't wait for your talk. I'm so glad you're yeah. a part of this. And we certainly hope that you tell your friends and your moms and your sisters to come out and enjoy this day because it truly is a one of a kind event where we as women come together as a beautiful community to learn and grow and support each other. So thanks so much. Thank you.